Uh-oh. What is it? Remember when I said some of the students might have already eaten Primo's toxic chow?
class, we are going to go over how fast to eliminate. Masako and Kyoko. I heard Masako and Kyoko were heroes. Heroes, they say. Well, words a lot of people throw around, little colleagues. You see, Masako and Kyoko are actually monsters in disguise and should be avoided at all costs. They sound awfully scary. What happens if they corner me in a dark alley? Ooh, I'm glad you asked. Masako and Kyoko are very formidable, but since they are monsters, creatures, they inherently have weaknesses we can exploit. Show. <laughs> As you can see here, the monsters have a thick exoskeleton that protects the soft corporeal form. Where do they know they get stuff? No brain or heart is to be found inside, of course, since they are running on pure monster instincts. What can I use to break through their exoskeleton? Coming in hot with the right question. Why? There are many ways to break through their defenses. Yeah. Oof, that'll do hard. You can use a myriad of varied methods. If you can't run and have access to these, I recommend any of the falling weapons to soften their outer shell. Can you name them for me? Level King! office. Are we supposed to be in here? Of course, for there is mystery afoot. Is that our principal? He looks like a low-budget superhero. 
I am the mysterious Mr. K. What's the K stand for? It's a mystery. Wouldn't Mr. E have been better? Maybe, but I'd already bought the web domain. Solve my mystery, and you two will be rewarded. This is weird. And we're busy, but sure, whatever. Mystery.
76 pounds of her. Ah, what is that thing? Huh? Where? You! Oh, well, I'm bummy. I take care of this here boiler. At least, I did before all the Yakuza fellas came and smashed it apart. Right, now there's no way to avoid Ken's fire traps. Well, now I didn't say that. Oh, Thummy's always got an extra solution up his sleeve. I'd rather not see that, thanks. Boiler might be smashed, but they left the pieces. All y'all gotta do is pick up all them dials on the floor, snap them back in place, and this here boiler should be ready for prime time. What happens at prime time? It's, uh, just an expression. Well, maybe try to express yourself a bit less, Thummy. Can do! Go looking for him. Gotta reinstall this fella here. Hey there, Skippy! <laughs> nice to see you again. Old Bummy sure didn't miss ya. Stubby now. Thumb. Whatever. Third dive. Oh boy. Keep them coming. This is more excitement than old Bubby had down here in years. over, I think I might actually miss Thummy. Really? I think this is the last dial. Ah, oh, Tabitha. How oh, I missed ya. The dial's name is Tabitha? Nah, old Thummy's just thinking about a friend. Weird. Okay, what do we do now? Attach that dial to this thing and crank her up! And this will turn off Ken's fire traps? Maybe. Could also blow up the boiler and kill us all. Either way, 
This has been one eventful day, and I'll be dying with my best friend. Wait, what? Installing the dial now. No! He's upstairs. now? Who says hold it? I guess we just did. No, we are not cops. We are teenagers. And we're here to pummel you. Yeah, you tell him. Yeah, well, that ain't gonna happen. And you know why? Why's that? Because I brought some teenagers of my own. Yo, creepy. Yeah, that came out weird, dude. You're always hiding behind your recruits like cowards, afraid to fight your own battles. Cowards? 
No way. Those people are our friends. Or sometimes we pay the money to protect us. Or that. Well, now it's my time to hide behind my own recruits. Ryuji, Ryuichi, please make your dramatic entrance. Well, look at that, Ryuichi. What's that, Ryuji? More walking punching bags for our training. <laughs> what perfect timing. I believe these two students were expelled. Please show them to the window again. With pleasure, boss. We will enjoy this. Ready, Ryuichi? No one That's it! We give! Well, that was disappointing. Maybe if you knew how to throw a punch, brother. <laughs> My punches weren't the problem, brother! It was your weak kicks! Oh, you mean these weak kicks? Stop it! No, you stop it! Are you trying to punch me because I can hardly feel it? Is that a kick or are we playing footsie? I'm telling mom on you! Well, I'm telling dad on you! Enough! Step aside, you K-pop wannabes. I'll handle this myself. It's time for your punishment! Ow, 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 ow! Th that was cheating! A sucker punch! You were staring straight at us. Still not cool. Just wait till my father hears about this. He will not be pleased. With you, maybe. Yeah, what a pathetic son. Shut up! Besides, we stopped your plan. Yeah, the school is free and hardly anyone ate that toxic junk Primo sent over. Actually, I think a lot of the students ate it. My point stands, we saved the day. <laughs> you think this was our plan? These experiments were just the tip of the iceberg. If you two want a rematch, Drop by San Wakai Tower. That's where the real action is. Now, where is my helicopter? I... Oh, there it is. Hey, look. Ken dropped another one of those emblem thingies.
What? That fast? Yep, that was a fun one. Oh, incredible! Your aptitude for solving mysteries is unrivaled, even by me. I have trained you both well. I'm uh, not sure you actually trained us. Now, go out into the world, solve mysteries, and help make River City a safer, less mysterious place. Mystery! out of that crappy school. Hey, it's Sabuku again. Got some more tips for us? Yeah, I gotta admit, you have been really helpful this whole adventure. Never expected that, considering we shamed you, kicked you out a window, and destroyed your father's criminal empire. <laughs> Wait, is that an evil laugh? I thought she was good now. Definitely an evil laugh. You fools. I've been using you this entire time. Well, that's not very nice. You've never had any hope of defeating my father or our Yakuza empire. All you did was cause some minor annoyance and make my stepbrother Ken look bad. He was the one who convinced my father we needed experts in magic, social media, and food. All superfluous. That means unnecessary. Thanks. All we needed was blood and vengeance to fuel our dynasty. And now that everything Ken developed is in ashes, Father will accept me back as his top soldier. 
That's actually a pretty good plan, I gotta say. Yeah, I'm not even mad. Plus, that Ken guy is a total tool. We're still gonna beat you and your dad, though. Unlikely. My father has built our family empire on the defeat of hopeful insurgents like yourself. You won't make it past the first floor of our tower. But just to ensure you don't follow me, I rate a little surprise for you around town. My men have strapped explosives to several of your closest friends. I believe you call them... Vifts? Explosives? But that'll make them explode! Pretty sure that's the idea. You'd better hurry. You don't have much time before the county reaches zero. And you've got fewer friends to rent movies and cheer with. That's not how you say that. Yeah, you're totally embarrassing yourself now. Goodbye. And if you've got any brain cells left in those dented heads, you'll stay away from me, my family, and our empire. Cool. Again. Let's head to Sanwakai Tower. Working again. We gotta save our friends before those bombs go off. Gonna be extra hard now. Looks like Sabaka's got the streets filled with even more Yakuza. Time for another work. so much.
Babaka was using the word friends loosely. Oh, hey there. You two come to party or to get this bomb off my chest? Definitely the second one. Sure thing. But first, you gotta guess my name. Thumbs off. Let's go. See you later, whoever you are. one we can skip. Nice. I, I never should have gone to the cat cafe. I knew it was a mistake. I never should have turned my back on adorable little doggos. That's when they grabbed me and put this bomb on me. And I deserve it. Everyone knows dogs are the cutest and fluffiest and best friends ever. Oh, Molly McMuffins, can you ever forgive me? Mommy's gonna take you back home and love you and squeeze you if I can just get out of this situation without dying! Will you stop your yapping? We removed your bomb like two minutes ago. <sighs> Thank you! It's so nice to have BFFs like you two! Uh, yeah, sure. Anyway, see ya. Bye, Mihoko! from the blackouts. I don't think Sabako knows who our friends actually are. Where are we? Oh, hey there! You came to save me, right? I guess so. What do you think? Maybe we don't need to save everyone? Funny! Come on, get this thing off me and I'll give you some loot! I guess. Shadow. Oh. 
<laughs> I knew you'd come. It's that skeleton shopkeeper with the golden cat. And the actual ghost peppers. Thank you for saving me. I'll give you a 5% discount on anything in my shop. Valid for one week, starting next Tuesday. Can't you just wiggle out of those ropes? Yeah, it's not like you have any skin. Rude! You don't see me judging you on your epidermis. Because we have one. Anyway, you're free now. See you around, Bony. <laughs> Skullmageddon is free again to wage war on high prices. you got here in time. They've got me wired up real good. Who is this guy? Yeah, pretty sure we never met him. What? It's me, Sunny Lee, the third double dragon brother. There's three of you? No way, I played the games. It's Billy and Jimmy and that's it. And Sunny Lee. Just because I don't go on every adventure with those show-offs doesn't mean I'm not just as important. Actually, that's exactly what it means. Anyway, bombs off. Have a nice life doing whatever you do. I'm gonna fight my way to the top! That's what! Doubt it. See ya. best friends in the whole dang world. Oh, hey, it's you two. What's up? We're here to get that bomb off your chest. Here's a bomb on my chest? Yeah, you didn't notice? Sorry, I was too busy planning next week's food drive and EDM festival. Those things sound unconnected. <laughs> no way. Electronic musicians are all about feeding the hungry. We're also raising money to convert local abandoned nuclear plants into rainforest preserves. My college guidance counselor is gonna flip. Yeah, well, we removed your bomb, so now you won't die before your big event. You're welcome. Yeah, got it. What sort of cake says EDM in the rainforest better? Red velvet or tiramisu? Later, Kuniko. Hey, it's you two. Kozuki, did you ever get into Sanwakai Tower? We're headed there right now ourselves. <sighs> Not yet, but apparently those guards have all at the street in front of the tower. So now's my best shot to get in there and break this story. Good luck. Try not to get killed. You too.
need some help, buddy? You again, huh? Need me to help fight your battles? Alright, you seem like okay. I'm guessing you need someone's face punched in, huh? Like, you bring any food? Nope. 